You're on an IFR flight bound for your destination airport, Chadron in Nebraska. Your current route segment has you flying inbound to the Toadstool VOR. You then hear this instruction from ATC. Hold west of the Toadstool VOR DME on the 270 radial. We've just been given a holding instruction. This is what's known as an unpublished hold. There's no procedure document showing the hold we've been instructed to enter. Yet, this instruction as given by ATC is the most basic form you'll hear, so it's a good starting point to explore what this means. Let's begin by constructing the hold. Now, it doesn't matter where we're coming from. The holding pattern will look the same no matter what. We always start with the inbound leg. Why? It's because only the inbound leg has any navigational guidance, VOR, GPS, or otherwise, that we'll be following. We'll explain that more in a bit, but we always start by drawing the inbound leg first. We hold on the 270 radial, that's this line. This being the inbound leg, the direction is this way, inbound to the VOR. Notice the language, hold west on the 270 radial. When using a nav aid like a VOR, there's always an agreement between the cardinal direction mentioned, west in this case, and the radial. 270 degrees and west are the same thing. You won't hear, for example, hold west on the 090 radial. Also, visually, you can already see that the holding pattern will be to the west of the holding fix, also matching up with the instruction. Now, the next step is to draw the outbound turn. This will be a 180 degree turn either to the right or left. The instruction didn't specify which direction. Standard holds are to the right, so that's what we do here. Draw the right turn. Next, draw the outbound leg. Notice the outbound leg isn't on the 270 radial. It actually doesn't overlap with any radial from the VOR. So we don't follow any guidance on the outbound leg. Don't try to center the needle on the outbound leg. I know this is difficult to grasp because modern GBS units will center the needle for you, but if you're using a VOR like this, we're not following any guidance. Look, we're really just getting back in line to go down the same ride at the amusement park, the inbound leg of the hold. Again, we weren't told how long the leg should be, so the standard is a one minute leg. Technically, it's the inbound leg that's one minute, but we'll plan our outbound leg at one minute too and adjust as needed. From there, you complete the circuit with the inbound turn, once again to the right, and we have our hold. As we said, ATC can specify left turns instead of the standard right, and can change the standard one minute legs by saying something like five mile legs. They can also have you use a holding fix that isn't the nav aid like the VOR. Let's complicate things a bit. Hold west of the 15 DME fix on the 090 radial of the Toadstool VOR DME five mile legs left turns. We're not holding on the VOR this time, but on a DME fix on a certain radial from it. Right away, let's notice the disagreement between the instruction to hold west and the 090 radial, which is east. This can sometimes, but not always, be the case when we're holding on a point off of the nav aid. Not to worry, we're going to build the hold the same way we did before. We'll start with the inbound leg. It's on the 090 radial, which is here. And it ends at the 15 DME, here. The instruction is to hold west. That means that the holding pattern will be on the west side of the fix not in the shaded area to the east. Next, let's draw the outbound turn. It's 180 degrees and it's been specified as a left turn. The legs were instructed to be five miles and then we draw the inbound turn to complete the cycle. Again, notice that the hold is west of the fix as instructed. Also notice that the outbound leg, 270 degrees, isn't on any radial. There's no guidance to follow on that outbound leg. This makes sense. A slower aircraft will make a tighter turn and fly the outbound leg closer than a faster jet would. But we're all just getting in line to go back down that amusement park ride, the inbound leg, which does follow the same course. Now, how do we enter these holds? That does depend on the direction we're approaching from, and we go over that and much more in the full IFR Online Ground School, which you can check out today at the link here or in the description.